Hello YouTube, Porky Jedi here. Welcome to the channel. I've decided to kick the channel off with a quick unboxing. I do know what's inside the box, but I have not seen it yet. I will be seeing it for the first time with you guys. So let's get into it. Welcome back everybody. Up to this point, I have only collected stock Star Wars Hot Toys. This will be my first dive into customization. Inside the box is a head sculpt of one of my favorite Mandalorian characters. So let's take a look. All right, again, I am seeing this for the first time with you guys. We'll get it open with the handy dandy Cobalt Utility Knife. I am not sponsored by Cobalt, in case you guys were wondering. I'm obviously not sponsored by anybody. So let's get this open. Seems to be packaged pretty well. And packing peanuts. Let me get all rid of all these and I will be back. All right, thanks to the miracle of editing, most of the packing peanuts are gone. I'm gonna take this out, set those to the side. I am gonna need to get this shipped off and get it painted, so I will reuse those and save the planet one packing peanut at a time. All right, here is that head sculpt. This, uh, for those of you who do not know, is a head sculpt of Bill Burr, AKA Megs Mayfield, one of my favorite characters from The Mandalorian, even though he only has a handful of screen time. I don't think Hot Toys is gonna make one of these. If they were going to, I think they probably would have already done that. So I had to take uh, matters into my own hands. I picked this head sculpt up from Rocco Tartamella. I may have just slaughtered that last name. If I did, Rocco, I apologize. Now when I got this, I didn't realize it at the time, but uh, Rocco is evidently a pretty big deal within the industry. He has worked with uh, Hasbro, McFarlane Toys, NECA, Gentle Giant, and the list just goes on from there. So I am super excited to have this, super excited to add it to my collection. Rocco sells this in a necklace and a necked version. Obviously, I picked up the necklace version. I'm going to be adding this to a transport trooper. I'm going to be posing him up with a transport trooper with the Din Djarin head sculpt and adding that to my display. Again, super excited to have this. Looks absolutely fabulous. Can't wait to get this painted and get it back. Custom painting is definitely not something that is in my wheelhouse, and I doubt that it ever will be. I just don't think I can do that to my satisfaction. I have narrowed it down to two different painters. I'm gonna send him off and get a custom paint job done, and as soon as I get it back, I will do another unboxing video to show you how he turned out, and let you know who I uh, chose to do the paint. All right, guys, there you have it. That's Migs Mayfield. Uh, again, I'm super excited to add him to my collection. I want to take a second to thank you for stopping by the channel. The channel is primarily going to focus on Star Wars rooms, prop building, Star Wars 1-6 scale hot toys, now customization, and the occasional unboxing and product reviews. Do me a favor and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can see when I upload a new video and you can watch me and the channel grow. Until next time.